Hey everybody, Draconic After Live here, back with some Doom. <clears throat> and in the last one, we gave the middle finger to the con maker. She destroyed the power to our ship, however, we had the freaking crucible with us. And I did some looking at the end of that video to get this secret, and I found out I think how to do it. So if you look over and shoot that. Ah! Whoa, okay, that was a fail. What the? Oh, uh, it goes in a circle. Come on. Praetor, the complete upgrade. Cheat code for the fully upgraded suit. Nice. And that was a one-time thing. Alright, um... I have a lot of points I can allocate. Um... That, get some suit points. I got four. I think I'm gonna save it till I can get that last one. Yeah. I don't have any more sentinel batteries, although I think I've got all the things I can get. Yeah. Except for maybe opening this one over here. I've got it all. Alright. So what we have to do now is we have to go to Taras Nabad and pick up our crucible blade. Let's do this. Taras Navad. With the death of her priest, the blood ritual has been broken. The con maker, desperate for a way to consume Earth, is attempting to resurrect the icon of sin under her command. Ooh. Only the Slayer's Crucible Blade can stop the Titan. To retrieve it, you must journey back into your past, to the city of Taras Navad, where your legend began. If memory serves, isn't the icon of sin the betrayer's son? Your crucible is still embedded in the titan that attacked this sentinel city. Your first battle against the demons in this world, where the legend of the slayer began. Ooh. That's a lot. What the heck is that down there? What are those? That doesn't look... I've got all the runes. Yeah. So what are those? This is gonna be a... Quite a long one, then. Do I have... Okay, there's the auto map. Hey, Sentinel battery. So do I just jump for it? Nice. The city of Taras Nabad was the crown jewel of Argent Denur. For centuries, it served as the spiritual heart of Argent society, home to both the royal family and the center of political power. No expense was spared in the building of the city, with bold... Co Whoa. Uh... Okay. No expense was spared. Conad... I can't pronounce that word. With bold architecture and towering monuments to gods and kings represented of every avenue, rural Argenta flocked to Tarasnabad on pilgrimage to the Maker Temples. 
The city was ground zero for a massive demonic invasion attempt, and although the invasion was thwarted, the attack changed Argenta society forever. Oh, what are my challenges? Six Codex, Ice Bomb to Freeze, ten demons, three different glory kills on pain elementals. Got it. Yes. Whoa! Yes. Get you, boy. FG Division 2016, hell yeah. I would have missed that if I hadn't have looked. Um... There's a wall right there. So I need three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Always explore. Auto map to the left. Ooh, this looks like an arena. It is. And I tripped it.
Whoa. The hell? Oh, that's an arch vial. Damn right it will. Let me get this. I still hear some growls, so I think there's some fodders walking around. There, ho! Okay. Oh, there's quite a few things in this area. Also got three different glory kills. Okay. Ah, I knew I heard you. There's gates everywhere. Why is there a rad suit here? So I'm gonna go down, cut a right, and then go up and around. Come on. not. Ah! Where am I supposed to go? that do? Ah. It is 
was written that your hatred for the demons gave the people of Argentinur hope. As it does now on Earth. Oh, Pinky! want to continue if that didn't open something. See, there's a bunch of stuff that's shut. coming of the Slayer, the Night Sentinels took the campaign deeper into the heartland of the demons than ever before. The mighty Atlans were brought forth, tearing a path through the hordes of hell alongside the Slayer and his army. The High Priest, under the guidance of the Mother God, had found means to gain entry into the innermost regions of the demon world, and with the Deke's presence, new gates could be opened. Our war machines were unstoppable. Wrought with maker technology and enhanced by the very essence of our enemies hurled against us as our armies drove deeper and deeper into the blood-drenched territory of the demons. Countless victories were assured with the power of the Slayer, for with the Alpha in Interfector at the fore of our pack, we brought certain doom to our foes. And though our hearts were pure and our purpose righteous, unbeknownst to the fighters of Argenta, in our wake and under the veil of secrecy, the Mother God had sent her priests to build vast factories upon the heathen's land that she might gather the essence to further development. How this deception began, we'd not, we would not know, for our forces remained on the hordes of the underworld. Why then would we stoop so low as to consider our Mother God of betraying our covenant? The conmaker did not seem at ease with the unforeseen rise of our slayer and the Sephiram who had birthed the Destroyer in secret soon vanished from Erdak, perhaps exiled for his heresy. Our legions rose, unfettered under the unquenchable rage of the Doomslayer, and his design led the Conmaker to find profit in his endorsement. It soon became known that the Slayer was the Maker God's machine, a holy relic reborn sent to bring the Maker's ward to the wicked and to smite those who would seek to harm all who followed the path to Erdak. With the Slayer unwittingly cleaving a path for her, the Mother God siphoned the essence, processing it beyond our knowledge into the fuel that would come to be known as Argent Energy. The Slayer cared not for Paul. Polly? I guess. He took no interest in the workings of our people, but set his task only on his desire, the destruction of the demons and their world. He no longer spoke for reasons unknown though it was understood that he still possessed the ability, offering only guttural hefts of anger as he inflicted pain upon his enemies. For years he marched with the Night Sentinels through the fires of the Demon Lands, and every return to our homeworld founded much change in Argentinur. Should any blame be a, a pardon to the Sentinels, it is this. In our fev fever we were negligent of our people and did not see the rising tide of evil our crusade empowered. We knew only the enemy laid before us and the wealth of the Argenta at our backs, and did not pause to seek the cost and method of this progress. Hmm. So... I saw that. I saw that. Yes. No! Damn it! What...
So the Slayer stopped talking for whatever reason. Hey, Cyber Mancubus. I want these. There's three things back there I didn't get. I don't even know if I can go back. Screw it. I'll just wait to the end and I'll use the fast travel to go back and collect those if I can't find a way. see that, but, uh... Divinity machine. Yeah. Within the infinite conscious matrix of the all saying maker god mind, there exists every potentiality, every predictive variable of possible future timeline, each one known to the maker collective with omniscient, inexorable clarity. The god mind surveys these timelines, watching them form and expand exponentially like fractal patterns in the fabric of existence. Among these infinite possibilities, only one constant appears among them, unchanged by the flowing data of endless variability, that of the prophesized destroyer, the one who would bring about the destruction of the makers. That is me. Oh, is this an arena? It is. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Holy shit! Ooh, I'm gonna die. Yes!
I did not die. I came close several times to dying. Oh, I see. And there's this, I am not looking forward to that Slayer Gate, even though I'm going to get the Unmaker by beating it. I am not looking forward to that Slayer Gate. The Slayer Gate's going to be a pain in the absolute ass. So how exactly does that work? Whoa. That I should maybe jump. Oh, wait. Wait. Crap. Um. Okay, ready to get my shit rocked. The final Slayer Gate. Okay.
Dang it. Are you kidding me? I died to a fodder demon. Ooh, still recharging. Escape route. Holy shit!
Where's the tyrant? I know I didn't kill it. Did I? Holy shit, I didn't even realize I killed that tyrant. Oh shit. That was the last Slayer Gate. All right. I, th I thought they were gonna throw like Marauders, Doom Hunters, and a Tyrant, but that arena wouldn't be big enough for all of that. And aside from all of those, which I will get at the end of the level, there's a secret encounter there and one over here. Great. And one of these. Holy shit! Pain elementals. There's so much shit going on on screen, I usually can't just concentrate on the pain elementals. Overdrive. You expect me to beat a Marauder in 30 seconds? Okay. I'm using up extra lives pretty quickly, faster than I'm gathering them. Especially since the game's... Seems like it's coming... That was weird. Seems like the game's kind of coming to the head. I'm starting to throw a lot of enemies all at me. Crucible blade is removed. The Titan will rise again. 
Okay, then how the hell am I supposed to leave? Wow. Yet, as the Slayer and Night Sentinels battled the demonic host, their failure to act outside the confines of their duty allowed the rancor of the essence to grip the Argenta. It was on a mission deep within the boiling seas of the Nether Realm, where the Order of the Six reside. That a company of Night Sentinels learned of the Conmaker's true dealings with the callous beasts. By maker design, it was kept secret from the Sentinels and Argenta people alike that the essence we had grown so reliant on during this war was comprised of the very spirit of our brothers and sisters who'd fallen to these vile creatures. The truth had been uncovered. All that, be all that beings who found their end by the demonic horde would become a vassal of the hellscape. Their flesh and time twisted into the very demons we fight, their souls extracted to create the essence that powers their world and ours. The victims were the enemy, and the enemy would become us. The soldiers stood in awe at the base of a factory dedicated to such action, a place where the bodies of the slain were sorted and processed, tortured for the mill to have their souls extracted through sinister magic, enormous vats of pain and suffering. Ethereal energy, the haunting sounds of lost souls awash in an eternity of servitude, transformed into energy to power our struggle against the dark realm and its mallets. But worse than this grim reality was the discovery of the machinery which was used to enact the vile process our fallen had been subjugated to, for it was not by hoof and claw that the blasphemous technology had come to pass, but by the hands of the Argenta guided by the mother, mother goddess's desires. We had fallen deep within the grasp of the enemy, what we had fought against would not reveal itself to be true, as without continents, we could hold no sway over the Argenta populace. Regardless, the honor of the... Oh, shit. Duh. I'm sorry. Um... We had fallen deep within the grasp of the enemy. That which we had sought against us could not reveal itself to be true, as without continents we could hold no sway over the Argenta populace. Regardless, the honor of the Night Sentinels would have to hold up the variety of these claims, and the Mother God could be our divinity no more. In secret corridors and clans den conference, the Night Sentinels who found who find those amongst them who similar distrusted the essence had foretold the swelling corruption. Once the truth could be snared, the skeptics became members of the Sentinel Insurrection, and the breach between holy and unholy Argenta began to grow. So, if I pull this blade out... Before I do that... Thank you, my good sir. Really, it's a marauder toy. I'm not surprised. Why can't I get up there? So I pull that out, this thing comes back to life. That doesn't seem like a very good idea. Oh, that was a wall I was supposed to climb right there. I went about this the hard way. Alright, well, I don't have a choice. I need this thing. Okay, I just need the hilt. Your vault should contain what you need. Yeah, because if I had pulled it out, then it would have. Whoa! It would have. It would have come back to life. So I guess by leaving the blade in and only pulling out the hilt.
Oh, there's still quite a bit to go. All the way back there and then down. Someone's probably dis uh, deciphered this stuff on the internet. The world of Argent Anur has fallen. Divided, the demonic energy flows now to the south. And the society you once knew has been replaced by a corrupted world under Maker rule. It did not need to end this way. Oh, that's a pinky. I need to get one from behind. Man, they're really throwing the book at me. I'm surprised this thing is still working. Jesus. I've got one extra life left. I see a marauder. The truth could not be denied. The unholy spires raised in the barren lands functioned by blessing of Khan maker machinery. The Khan had betrayed Argent Denur and had made concert with the demons to harvest their essence. 
in return granting them access to all the worlds under her influence. A symbiotic relationship had formed and darkness now had been balanced by a light, for where there was heaven there would also be hell. The followers would be granted passage to Erdak and the sinners would fall into the fiery pits of the Dark Realm. This, wor no. this world would be spared, spread from all cultures and all worlds and in all places. We were not without blame, for it was our people, the priests, and sentinel engineers who'd laid the work in place. The Argenta slaves had built the dark factories, and our own ancient wraith energy helped purify Hell's elixir into the miracle fuel that now powered the Maker's world and our own. The night sentinel spoke of the evil brought by the essence and carried their word to all who would listen. We had helped to create this new dichotomy and so it must be for the Argenta to stop the spread of this pestilence. <laughs> this new phase of existence, the dark and the light, if not for us, then for the innocents whose world worlds have yet to fall under the spell of the maker god and her unseen allies in the hell dimension. Even when the night sentinels returned from the demonic realm with tales of slave factories that damn the souls of the innocent, the indoctrinated masses of Argentina took no quarrel with the makers. They were indebted to the demon essence, the ministers deliberating but finding no basis for change. The messengers were cast down for daring to speak against those who have gifted us so much, our gods. The makers, in their infinite wisdom, would see fit that the faithful continue life anew in Erdak. They feared the wrath of the mother god. A lifetime of servitude would not be undone by this insurrection. This was simply another trial, a test of faith to identify those who were truly worthy to experience life eternal in Erdak. The Argenta would not waver in their resolve. The Night Sentinels prepared for war once again, though this battle meant drawing the blood of their own brothers. Our army had seen the work of the demons firsthand and knew its evil. They had returned to the way of the wraiths, and though their ar armament was diminished without the essence, it remained pure and righteousness. A division amongst the Argenta had occurred, one side standing in opposition to the doctrine of the Makers, the other locked in belief. The Ascended Empire was compromised of the faithful and misled, wielding the desecrated energies of Hell, the power of the Makers, and marauders who had sided with the Khan. The Night Sentinels were bolstered by the free people of Argenta and the mightiest of all killers, the Slayer himself. Plans and tactics were drawn. The Sentinels would close that Argent, the Argent Energy Factories in Necroval, that which fed the world of Erdak directly with its supply of fresh essence. They would stop the flow. The slumbering wraiths would wake from their sleep and give Argent Dinner courage. Wow. All right. Yeah, that's a that's a war. All right. Maze these places can still open. Ammo. Saw that. This is my vault, huh? Yeah, I'll get you in a sec. Wow. 
Wow. The three priests, a gate, hell, and one guy fighting. I'm gonna guess that's the Slayer. For years, the Civil War raged and took its toll on the soldiers as their army laid stained with the blood of their brothers on cursed battlefield. Finally, an opportunity to end the war had been discovered by the Order Deeg and the Night Sentinels. With the Slayer at the head of their army, they gathered to traverse through the gate and surrender ne and sunder Necroval, the city of the dead. The Order of the Deeg, the high priests who had pledged their allegiance long ago to the Night Sentinels, worked in service of our mission. Those holy priests who had served the Argenta since time immemorable assured us that the way was clear. A plan was set to march into the accursed walls of Necroval and smite the factory, cutting off the flow of essence to Erdak and denying the conmaker of her prize. Our forces took spear in hand and advanced, and it is there the venom of treachery struck. Upon entry through the Hell Portal, the Night Sentinels were scattered to the winds of unplanned chaos. Our warriors separated, our ranks split as the gates twisted and hurled them across unholy realm. Some of our warriors appeared near to the gates they had walked before, but found that the vile priests had barred the way back. Then the trap was sprung, and each lone Argenta found himself set upon by bloodthirsty multitudes of demonic beasts. Let it be known that it was not the priests alone who failed the northern armies, but one of the sentinels' own. Hell found his weakness, and exploited it to the demise of Argent Denur. If not for the betrayer's stroke of madness, the Wraith's power would still be our own, and the Sentinel flag would still rise above Argent Denur to this day. Yeah, the betrayer, they uh, offered to revive his son, and I believe his son was brought back as the, uh, the uh, icon of sin, if I remember that correctly. Up we go. Ooh, okay. I smell secrets. Yeah, I see something glittering down there. Ah, uh, what? Oh, shit. Got it. Ooh. Quake 2 rage. So I'm gonna go all the way around the rad suit, huh?
time to cool down. Now I just need that one and that one. I don't know how I'm supposed to get that. Wrong mod. Last one of the story of the Sentinels. Ooh, that looks like a mech. 
Or the Slayer. Scattered in hell, abandoned by their cler clergy and reinforcements, the Sentinels prove their worth in what would be their final war with the forces of all evil. Unrelenting power in the face of certain death, the Sentinels crushed hundreds of demons and skewered titans. When their Atlantans held no more fuel, the Sentinels took to the ground and fought the swarms on land, and all of hell knew of the betrayal. For it was without question the makers and the priests who had sowed the seeds of deceit long before the brave warriors passed through the gate. What hell saw that day was the beating heart of the free people of Argent Denur, and they did not flinch in the face of their own certain death. They died as they lived, with sword and shield in hand, Erdak took low, a place to house such giants. Theirs would be the fate of warrior gods remembered for all time. Lord Sash, the stalwart banner sergeant, was found with his war standard pierced through the throat of a great, great beast, his body surrounded by the corpses of enemies. Roan the Mighty, the light faded from his eyes, had eviscerated such a magnitude that their entrails clung to the black rock-like vines. Gore, relentless until the end, had broken his blade on the backs of his foes, and by the time he fell, he had slain another two score with his hands alone. The priest believed the sentinels all slain, but we are Argenta, born to overcome. Rumors, deemed heretical by the Order D, persist and claim that the Slayer himself still rages in the unholy realm. None who live can know, for the future of Argent, Argent Denur has been bent and twisted by the perverted vision of the essence drinkers. Never again will the light of the wraths illuminate our world. All has fallen. If the Slayer does live, let him carry out our vengeance forward. If he persists, let him wreak violence on those who have wronged us. May the blood of his sword never dry. May his war never end until the guilty have been punished. And this, may nev and this evil never again spread its shadow over another world. They were beasts until the very end. I've actually got goosebumps reading that, like no joke. I got a little bit of goosebumps. A mastery token. Bypass the mastery challenge? Eh. Where's the fun in that? Maybe before a boss fight. I don't know. That's what these are. Those are the... Just like how the... Uh, there's another mastery token? It's probably one of those secrets I didn't get. Okay, so that's what those are. Yes. The hell was that?
That was awesome. All right. So let's do this, because I got to figure out a way. Because those are still closed. There's this. Oh, you're... There we go. Sure. There's a wall. How the hell? Seriously? I mean, I don't think I... Mm, I want 100% it, though. And then that one over there I missed. 
there has to be something I'm missing that I am just not seeing. There a button somewhere I'm missing? through the walls. Come on, man. It's a sealed room. I don't... Ah, whatever. I'll figure it out later. I saw it. That did not look breakable, though. What? Oh, I double jumped off the edge. Can't do that. I can't so I can't double jump from up there okay got it That's all I'm gonna get because I can't figure that out.
Yeah, I know. Did the internet thing not reconnect? No. No. Damn it. Connecting. Verdag is the maker's homeworld. It is not accessible to anyone. No human or sentinel has ever set foot in their dimension. You can use the maker's origin factory in the hell city of Necrovol to pass through the void. Once there, you will not be able to. But Vega can create an exit portal for you. That is why you must bring Vega through the void with you to Erdag. Understood. I am detaching myself from the ship's systems. Processing. Total transfer to external drive complete. Vega is no longer connected to your ship. I will reconfigure the portal to Necrovol for you. I don't know if I trust you. Require anything else before we begin our journey to Verdun. You will not be able to return until the mission is complete. Uh oh, this seems like it's the very end. Um, I have one suit. Oh yeah, just one. I have three, um, got everything up there, oh yeah, there's the, the old school suit up top, and then the Praetor suit, I think over in that one, or the gym suit or other one. That's the training armor? Yeah, that one's already open. Wait, is it? Yeah. Ooh. What? The 
just one more! No, that's not right. One, two, three, four, five. That should have been all of them. I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. Got quite a bit done. Uh, this was a bit on the longer side, unfortunately. Figure transfer complete. City of the Damned Necroval. Going into hell once again. Actually, in this game, I don't think I've been to hell once. I've been to... Yeah, I haven't been to Wow, I haven't been to hell once in this game. Wow, I didn't actually think of that. But yeah, that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave a like if you did. If, if you didn't, you can leave a dislike as well, but at least tell me why. Also, feel free to sub subscribe if you're not already. I try to upload videos three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. As well as maybe a little mini video, you know, here or there, if, you know, I get stuck in a glitch or something. So I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, this is Draconic Afterlife, heading back to the grave.